Well, as of last night, more than 180,000 people have attended the Canfield Fair. Walking in the crowds, it's common to see a group of first responders or EMTs walking there beside you. Beefing up patrol was something local fire departments and first responders wanted to do to be more prepared than ever this year, and it proved to be worth it. 27 First News reporter Molly Reed spoke with the head of the Red Cross and a fire chief to tell us why this year was different for them than years in the past. The sun beat down on fairgoers this weekend, and even though it wasn't as hot as previous years, it still took its effect on some. EMTs and firefighters had to be on high alert. A lot of heat-related issues, um, fluids, dehydration, things like that. Canfield Fire and Rescue, along with several other departments from across the area, were well prepared for the fair. They were able to respond to emergencies faster than ever. Um, our response time as a unit is under a minute, which is just really fantastic. On Saturday, more than 81,000 people showed up to the fair. It was their busiest day, with more than 20 calls for emergency services, ranging from heat exhaustion to bee stings. In order to have easy access to the ground's different areas, the responders created four different posts. Our main headquarters, two inside the fairgrounds, and we actually man a uh, campground that covers all the four or five hundred trailers that are out there. Deputy Fire Chief Matt Rarick from Canfield Fire says luckily though emergency trips so far this year are down more than ever. Uh, we've run about 40 responses for uh, service today. Usually we're around 80 to 100. In Canfield, Molly Reed, WKVN 27 First News.